Geophysicist Rufus Ketchings believes that the data he's collecting will provide proof for a new earthquake theory. This theory is that shock waves ricochet off deep layers of rock. This reflected energy is concentrated in a band that strikes distant places along the same fault in a devastating way. That's what happened in the Loma Prieta earthquake, that uh, seismic energy went down, it struck a layer, and it bounced back onto San Francisco. Thus, very little damage in between San Francisco and Loma Prieta. Rufus sets off small explosions along earthquake faults and measures the resulting seismic waves. He showed us how a logarithmic plot makes his data come alive. These are the data that I, I that shows the, uh, the distance and the actual amplitudes of the seismic waves uh, along the San Francisco Peninsula. Just looking at the numbers, it's, it's hard to conceptualize exactly what information is there. Just a, a linear plot is not very useful. That's where using logarithms comes in, and in scientific study, it's a, it's, it's a very critical tool. And I can show a logarithmic plot here. Then all of a sudden we have data. We can see variations in amplitude. Again, along the vertical axis is amplitude, and along the horizontal axis is distance. And what we see is at the epicenter, the amplitudes again, it's the same numbers we used before. There are high amplitudes, but by plotting with the logarithmic scale, we can see where there are variations in, in, it, in the amplitudes. The peaks on the log plot match the areas that received the most damage during the real quake. Amazing! We asked Rufus how these data can be used. Given this information, we can then uh, inform those people living in the, those areas or if there are schools or whatever um, critical facilities in those areas, they can be uh, uh, reinforced to withstand an earthquake. At USGS, the research, the field work, and the math work together to accomplish a real down-to-earth goal, preventing earthquake damage and saving lives.